What's up, YouTube? Um, I have to admit something. Um, I just saw Spike Lee's Jungle Fever for the first time yesterday, and this movie is almost 20 years old. Um, so yeah, you know, you can take some time out and clown me. Um, for whatever reason, I didn't watch it because I assumed it was going to be one way. I didn't know it'd be as deep as it was, at least for me. You know, to the point now where it's probably up there in terms of my favorite Spike Lee movies up there with He Got Game. Uh, man, the movie was deep and it had multiple side stories. And I thought it would be some linear, typical type movie, but it was really deep. Um, and it was almost scary. I was telling my boy that they could have released that movie yesterday and it would have been current. Right? They can redo this movie. And the only thing they really have to change is some of the, the the street terminology and how they dress. And the movie would be dead on accurate. I would say it would probably be 90% accurate in terms of what's going on today. And I'm watching it and like I'm just... Everything, every scene I'm like, man, like this just happened to me yesterday. Or like this is some of the same stuff I'm talking about. And this is 20 years ago. 20 years ago, one of my favorite scenes, I have two favorite scenes in the movie, there's one scene where after, uh, uh, what was his name in the movie, I forgot, but, uh, Flipper, Wesley Snipes, his name was Flipper, after Flipper's wife finds out he cheated on her, um, and he's seeing the Italian woman, there's a scene where his wife is having a conversation with some of her homegirls, and Spike Lee's wife is in that scene too, in terms of the movie. And their conversation, it was about like a 10 minute scene, was so relevant that it wasn't even funny. They were touching on everything in terms of professional white women dating white men and, you know, darker skinned women not getting any attention and, you know, lighter skinned women getting all the love. Like, it was so relevant that it's not even funny. Um, and another scene was when the Flipper's father was talking about uh, uh, pretty much where the whole idea of the forbidden love between you know uh, white women and black men you know developed in terms of slavery when Flipper bought the Italian girl over uh, for dinner and like that scene was so powerful man I'm trying to get a hold of it it was so powerful the way he said it the way he presented it it was just almost like you know like I've never been captivated just the way he put it out there like that um, because it was short, but it was to the point. Um, you know, I've taken whole classes and like just on African American history and whatnot, and just the way he put it, it was just like it summed up everything. Okay, and to refocus myself, um, watching the movie and seeing how relevant it was today, I'm like, man, are we off? Are we already lost? Are we already doomed? Are we already over? If they were talking about this in 91, you know, they probably shot the movie in 90. They probably even wrote the script in 89. So the, 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 the actual details of the movie, right, is probably 20 years old. And the characters are already adults. I'm like, man, with this whole issue that we're talking about now is probably a good... 20, 25 years old. Right? I, I'm probably not talking to enough older heads because they'll probably be telling me, Pink, you're not talking about nothing new. We've been talking about this. So I'm like, man, like, are we at a point where we can't go back? Uh, can we still fix things? What's really going on? I really don't have the answer to this one. You know, typically I like to at least have my opinion. I don't even really have an opinion on this. Because I'm still shocked. Like I told you guys, I just saw this movie yesterday, last night. I made it a blockbuster and I didn't go out. And I was literally shocked. Really, because you know, you know how you have experiences that really change things up for you? You know, I know it's kind of shallow and it's a movie. But, man, the movie really opened my eyes up. I'm like, man, this stuff has been going on. Are we too late? I mean, what can we really do? 
because for me, I'll be real, I thought that we were at a point where a lot of stuff is still new, and at one point in time, things were better. I know things have got progressively worse, and they weren't always as bad as things were now, but I really thought that we were good, at least in the early 90s, late 80s. I thought our problems really started mid-90s. You know, the beginning of the 2000s with the whole rise of the visible, educated black woman and, you know, the whole movies and uh, Stella's got her groove back and uh, waiting to excel. Like, I really thought that kind of marked the new uh, uh, era in terms of what's going on. But I'm like, man, it's been happening. So, you know, I don't even know what to say. I just want to get your guys' opinions and thoughts on what's going on. Uh, man, if you haven't seen this movie, or if you've watched it a while ago, man, watch it again. Please, because it will probably make your YouTube experience that much more meaningful. Because I could literally do videos based off of what I've seen in a movie. Like, it just really inspired me. It was like a muse to me. I'm like, man, I can pick so many different themes within this movie by itself and create a whole separate channel and just, you know, create a new username and call it Jungle Fever and just talk about all the different stuff in the movie. Um, because it was just so much more than just, you know, interracial dating. There were so many other side plots. Every character has something going on with them, even the, the sub-characters. So, anyways, I just had to put it out there. This is definitely a rant, but I can't help myself. Let me know how you feel. If you're older, um, you know, let me know how you felt when you saw it and how it applies to, to, what, to what's going on today. So, you guys take it easy. God bless.